What's good, what's real YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Leah. And I'm back with another video, you feel me? Yeah, when I pulled in this parking lot, I actually like literally pulled in the parking lot. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. For some reason I I can't drive all of a sudden. Um I am on my way to work, actually. I have to be at work today at three. So I was like, you know what, let me vlog. It's a really gloomy day today. It's raining. Huh. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. But I'm um, not for him. It's hella cold outside. Um, I'm gonna take this. Sorry. But you know what's so funny though? <laughs> I want ice cream and it's raining and it's cold. I really want some ice cream right now. So before I go to work, because I got time, it's 1.59. Get my gas first, then we get my ice cream. That'd be smart. Hold on now. Yo, I just turned and my whole car like slid. Like, where am I now? Hold on, tires. Where's your traction at? Because I can't die. What's, what's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> you're, you're leaning there, champ. Um, I just posted some, well, I didn't post it yet. I'm actually going to post it today, which is Monday. And then hopefully, hopefully I packed my adapter to plug in my SIM card for my laptop so I can edit this video that I'm actually currently doing right now. If not, um, I don't get off of work till 11 o'clock and by that time I'm ready to go to bed and I don't really get up until 9.30 ish, 10, 10. Um, because when I get home, I'm just ready to go to bed. So hopefully I packed that in my bag. If not, then this video won't be posted until tomorrow. It won't be edited to tomorrow and it won't be posted to tomorrow. So yeah, so I'm be behind, like always. Just <laughs> 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 my life. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I made those videos. Those videos were freaking hilarious. Um, basically, I was just prank calling my friends. I prank called Gina. I prank called um, Precious, Rihanna, and my cousin, Angela, my pud. Um, those two were like the best, were like the best reactions for me, was my cousin and, and Precious. Regina, she already knew it was a prank. Like... She already knew it, so I can't get her no more with my pranks, y'all. If you guys enjoyed those videos, like I said, I'm trying to come up with different things. And first off, too, let me just put it out there. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure in my video, you guys are going to see it. I got some clothes on the floor. I basically just had a shirt and some pants and my shoes laying on my floor in my room. <laughs> y'all don't act like y'all don't do that. <laughs> when y'all get home, y'all take y'all clothes off, y'all put it there. I do the same thing, you do the same thing, everybody do the same thing, so don't come for me. And then another thing, my freaking lights on my wall, for some freaking reason, it's falling, it fell. So, by that time when it fell, I was like, man, forget it. <laughs> and I just pulled it, I just put it however it went on the wall and that's how it's gonna stay on the wall until my lazy self wants to fix it. <laughs> and I don't know if that's anytime soon. <laughs> no, I'm gonna fix it. Um, I'll probably fix it tomorrow. I get suited and booted. Cause I don't want no Corona. I don't fuck Corona and Rona don't fuck with me. We keep our six inch, our six, not six inch, hold on girl. Our 600 feet difference, okay? That's what we do, we keep our distance from each other. She don't even know me and I don't even know her and she don't know my man, I don't know her man, none of that. Okay, we ain't popping like that. Make sure you sanitize your hands at all times. I got my car on full. Hopefully, let's see. Let's see what 15 did in the tank. Oh, you 
you are full, thank the gods. Thank you, Jesus. We are in business, okay? Your girl is on the budget. Low key struggling, I need another job. So if you, if you in the Vegas area and your job is hiring, <laughs> comment down below and let your girl know so I can put an application in. Okay. Y'all, I think I might do a story time about why I'm saying I need another job because y'all, my job try to do me janky. But <clears throat> that's for another time. Another time, another place. But yeah. I got my favorite drink, guys. This is not sponsored. I am not sponsoring Arizona. I'm just saying this is the... This tea is bomb, okay? Shake it up. Shake it, shake it up. Shake it. Shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. Shake it. Hey. <laughs> For the bus of right here real quick. Illegal style. Oh, not even in the lane, girl. Sorry, let it go. Just go. Just go, lady. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go, just go, just go. Go lady, go lady, if I change my mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Why you look like that? Just put a smile on your face. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mm, mm. Make her mess. I still want my ice cream. Um, I want a hot fudge ice cream. I know I shouldn't be eating that, but I want one. And yeah, I'm gonna get one at this point. But we are next. <clears throat> Damn. We're about this far from the intercom to put in our order. <laughs> Pretty much my day today is really just a chill day. It's, it's gonna be a boring day, really, to be honest with you. But yeah, <clears throat> so that's what we're doing. I'm trying to charge all my phones because where I work at, I work in a big old home. Like this home is huge. This home is low key. Forget low key, it is scary at night, y'all. So look, let me tell y'all, I went to the restroom, right? <clears throat> it is like a front door, it's like a glass front door. It's, it's huge, it's huge, right? So I go to the restroom. That door, mind you, is mostly locked 99% of the time. Uh, it's just, just locked, okay? We don't use it. We use side doors. But look, I go to the restroom. Cool, man. I was actually in there, you know, doing my thing, you know. Uh, also on TikTok. <laughs> Killing time. You feel me? Because there was nothing for me to do. My downtime. Um, so I come out. All of a sudden, I see that front door wide open wide open who the hell else was in that house there's only two people in that motherfucking house why the hell is that door open so I'm in there freaked out scared scared when I tell you scared so I immediately call my mama <laughs> I immediately like what's she gonna do like <laughs> she can't even get to me so I call my mama I don't know what she was going to do. I don't know how she was going to help me, how she was going to get there, if she was going to fly there, or how she was going to get there, but I don't know why. I called her, right? I'm like, Mama, the door is open. This door never open. Blah, 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 blah. She's like, well, grab something. So I grab a knife, y'all. Kid you not. True story. True story. I grab a knife, right? So I'm like, well, damn. I got to go check on. Woo, 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 right? So I go check. Da, 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 da. They good. Couple static, right? I go start searching through the house, making sure ain't nobody slid up in this house because it's a big old house. I don't want no surprise. I ain't gonna be in one of the movies, y'all. Okay? I ain't doing that. I have a future, I have a life, and I wanna live it to the fullest, okay? Right now, I'm in a shitty position right now, but you know, I'm building myself from out of this shitty position. I don't wanna die when I'm doing this. Like, no. So I search everything. I lock all the doors. I lock everything because the other people up in there, they be having doors all unlocked and everything. Like you bold, you bold. I don't care how how much security you think these people got. They only got a front gate security. And that's it. They don't. I don't think they patrol. I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. But like, by the time they patrol, they probably on the other uh, the east side towers or something. And I'm only on the north side. How you? Like, come on now. No, I ain't, I ain't with the shits. I ain't with the shits. I ain't with the shits. But yeah, so I checked everything. I was cool. I was good. Ain't nobody was in the house, but. Thank you. Can I get some napkins? Oh, good looking. Like, these is wet, baby. 
Huh? These is what? Oh, yeah. It's okay. I don't want these. Thank you. <laughs> How's it okay? I don't want no wet napkins. What the fuck? I look like. Man, people be testing me. Like, what do I want with wet napkins? <laughs> I want dry napkins. Let me wet the napkins. <laughs> Raining. It's one of those days where you should just be at home and sleep in. <laughs> but me? I gotta be at work today. yesterday. I'm actually going to insert a clip too of it. But yesterday we were supposed to go to Mount Charleston, right? Uh, my god mom and my god siblings and my niece and my mom. We never went to the mountains. We actually went to this place called Jungle Jungle something it's like cool it got like jumpers it got a little few arcade games it's really fun for the kids so we went there we let them play for a cool couple hours like two three hours maybe just two two and a half and they had a blast uh, me and Masai we played um, um what is that game called where it's like the table and a little flat disc, and then you hold the little thingies, and you hit it back and forth, and you try to make it into their little goal or whatever. That game. Comment down below. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about, because honestly, I don't. <laughs> what they're doing that can teach me some breathing exercises um how to hold a note properly how to because i sound nasally sometimes when i sing i hear it <clears throat> and i don't like that so i want to learn how to control like my my tone how i let it out how how i project it that's what i should say i want to learn all of that because i really i would love to 
And you know, that's so crazy that I'm recording this too. Like, I can look back on this from years from now or whatever. But I would love to actually write my own personal song one day and actually record it, sing it, and like publish it. Like, put it out there to see how people will react to my voice, to, to me, you know? I would like to try that one day, but I don't know. Knowing myself, I probably wouldn't do that because I'm so scared. Like, I'm my biggest, <clears throat> my biggest critic, my biggest um, person that holds myself back, if that makes sense. Like, I will hold myself back. And I know I shouldn't do that. I should learn how to be free and to try different things in life. And don't get me wrong, I do try to do different things in life, but like in this aspect I'm talking about, in this type of type of thing that I should try to break free and just try to just not care what people would think in that area. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense, but yeah, I would like to do something basically like that one day in my lifetime. Write a song and actually work with somebody and have them help me and teach me, you know, how to do something like this, you know? I think that'd be fun in my eyes. And maybe, you know, you guys will enjoy it too, because I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna take y'all on that journey and that path with me if I ever do something like that. So, I mean, we all can do it together. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. That's just something, you know, in the future. Aaliyah, if you see this girl, you know, and you actually do what we just said on camera, girl, you legit. <laughs> you did it. You faced your fear and you didn't hold yourself back and you actually did it. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, girl. But if you did not do it, then I'm still proud of you, girl, because you're still doing things, you know, out of your comfort zone. <laughs> See, the whole thing with this channel of what we're trying to do really is we want to be able to see if we can grow. We want to see if this is something that we can actually do and stick with and it's fun. We enjoy watching YouTube and I've always wanted to do YouTube when I was younger, y'all. I always wanted to do it, but I was never fortunate to buy those type of things. Like, I did not have money. And my mom, she didn't have money. She was, she didn't have it to buy me a laptop. She didn't have it to buy me a camera. You know, we barely had enough money to put food in our refrigerator. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she'd be okay with me saying this type of stuff. But yeah, like we had times where we didn't have food in the refrigerator, or we had to just eat rice or with butter, or or just you know things that to survive. You know. And I'm glad to where I'm in a position now to where I can afford these type of things. Like, I was blessed enough to buy a camera. I am blessed enough to buy a laptop so we can edit this, you know? It's just crazy how God works. Like, you go through, you go through the bad to get to the good, and then you get to the greater. If that makes sense in my eyes, that's how I feel. Like, I've been through some rough stuff. My mom been through some rough stuff. But now we are growing and it's we're growing together and that's the best feeling ever is to have my mama by my side y'all like i love that woman to death like i would do anything for my mama my mama is my best friend she's my mom she's like she's everything you know to me she's my first love like i'm pretty sure everybody understands what i'm talking about like first love like she's the first person that i actually really love and loves me back you know and always protected me and i always protect her like we got each other's back through thick and thin so it's just it's just amazing experience that i can do this with my mom y'all like yeah i could have done it by myself and she could have done it by herself which she is actually y'all so stay tuned actually for that but just to do this with her just to just have these moments and i could look back to these videos and be like damn look at me and my mom we did this and then to see our growth because i have a feeling y'all like we we're gonna be great like we're gonna be like we're gonna succeed and 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 just accomplish so many goals like i feel it and and I just, I just know it. I just know it. And I'm just, I'm so ready to just 
see new things and do different things in life and I'm gonna work hard for that I am so like that's what I said I'm trying to get more jobs I'm trying to work more and then I'm also trying to post more for you guys because like I like this but I am shy and I do want to keep doing this because it's gonna help me get out of my comfort zone it really is. It's going to help me open up more. It's going to help me just be me more. Um, like, I'm really goofy, y'all. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> I say off the top, the wall, off the wall type stuff. Like, I'm just a regular, normal person. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of people that like me. Whoa, well, whoa. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. Like, because I don't, I don't communicate with a lot of people. Like, I don't have a lot of friends. Like, growing, like, in high school, I didn't have a lot of friends. I only had a few friends. Like, you know? And, like, when I would try to talk to other people and try to befriend other people, it's just, like, like, I wasn't in their status quo, I believe. Like, you know? Like, I'm trying to say, like, I didn't fit in. I didn't have the nice things they had. I didn't have the Jordans. I didn't have the Nikes. I didn't have the hair and stuff. I didn't wear makeup. I didn't wear none of that. I was really just a Tom girl that just, you know, just liked to do whatever, you know? Like, I liked to play games, video games, like, you know? I liked the music, but it's just like, I never really fit in in high school, but I did join this um, in my freshman year, because I was just so nervous, like, I didn't have no friends or anything, so, um, I don't join ASB, student government. And when I tell y'all I love that, I love that. Like, I really did. I love ASB. I had a group of friends in ASB that were just really cool, and I really liked them, and they're my friends. Like, it sucks that we don't talk now, but, I mean, I understand. We all grow up. We all differ. We all do different things, and, like, I really wasn't, like, their close, close friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was more of like the new friend coming in kind of but they already knew each other so they, they they were like basically they treat themselves like family kind of and i was just like you know somebody just coming in you know hanging around with them getting to know them is getting to know me but we never stuck and that's cool that's cool but then i met some other friends you know we was same thing hanging and all that good stuff like really nice people we did things you know and stuff but we never stuck neither like, I'm the type of person, like, I don't communicate, y'all. And that sucks that I don't communicate, but I really don't. Like, I won't call somebody for months, years, days. I, and it's nothing against them. It's not like I hate them or, or anything like that. It's nothing like that. It's just that that's the type of person I am. Like, I go ghost. And that's not my intentions. Like, you call me, we can have a whole conversation, you know? And, hey, how you doing? You know, blah, 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 blah. But it's just like, I won't pick up the phone and I won't call. And I know that's wrong, but it's just, I don't know why I don't do that. Like, I don't do that. Like, the friends I have now, like, I barely pick up the phone and call. I don't, I think personally because I'm the only child. I don't have brothers and sisters. I grew up by myself. Like, all I knew was myself. <laughs> by myself. Like, yeah. I was still by myself, though. And that makes sense. I never had to share anything with anybody. I never had to do anything. So I just knew myself. So I don't know. And it's something I'm trying to work on. I really am. But it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. So I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all see this video, I'm so sorry. I'm just weird. I'm a weirdo. It's nothing against y'all. Uh, I'm going to do better. I'm going to try. I'm here, y'all. So I'm here at work. Um, it's just a boring day like I said today I was just basically just driving with me here to work um, I might record when I get off of work it's probably going to be dark but I mean I might record and end the vlog there because I can't really record while I'm here so yeah another thing with my job <clears throat> they kind of really put you in jeopardy here because there's a lot of people that come in and out of a home. And you know how COVID is going on? Um, and these people are like nurses, um, therapists, and they, they're not just going home to work, to one person's home. They're going to multiple people's homes. 
and you don't know what them people do in their home, how they act in their home, if they clean clean in their home or whatever, and you in there working, doing your job, and somehow, some way you contract COVID and you don't know that you have it because you're not showing any symptoms, and you're going to other people's homes, other people's homes, touching them, talking to them, infecting them, and you don't even know that you have it. But it's like, well, dang, the caregivers should, I'm just saying to pre prevent that, to protect us if somebody did have that, we should have proper PPE, meaning N95 masks that we can use. Like, come on, we should be able to be supplied with gloves, not just 10 pairs of gloves. We need boxes of gloves. We need temperature thing which i fought for and i finally got finally got that so we could check people's temperature and if your temperature ain't good you need to bounce homie like i'm not trying to catch that stuff like and we've been exposed to COVID in this home three times the first time was a physical therapist caught it and was here when he had it but he didn't know he had it until he tested it and got positive <clears throat> So we got tested that time. I don't know if y'all checked my Instagram, but I posted it on my Instagram. Um, thank God it was a negative result. Thank you, Jesus. Then I found out that somebody else came into the home that was working on the home, tested positive. And I didn't find out until five days later is when the nurse is calling me saying, hey, somebody was in the home and they tested positive. Your job should be t giving you a test. Okay, whatever. I call my job. Hey, I just found out somebody tested positive. When are we going to do this test? They're supposed to do it the next day. The next day comes. The nurse was busy. Um, so she said she was going to come another day. But after that, never heard anything. And it's been about, what, two weeks now? You need to communicate with us. I found my piece. So guess who's going to be editing the day? Me. 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 I am so I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna get some downtime. I'm gonna start editing. Oh my god, I forgot the videos. Should I put part one out first for a little bit and then put out part two? Or should I just put them both out at the same time? Same time. Yellow. Hey guys, so I just want to come on here really quick and just show you guys what I am having for my lunch. These are the tamales my friend gave me, Myra. Thank you, girl. Shout out to you. Um, you don't watch my videos, but we go, we go get you on on the program. <laughs> so um, these are the tamales she made. They're good. I had one already. Spoiler alert. Um, they're really good. This one, you got like a, what is that? The last one I had didn't have this in here. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's olive. I never knew I was to go in tamales. Mm. So wait. What if I was to bite in this? <clears throat> I would mess up my um my whole tooth. Wait a minute. Hold on, time out. Time out. The last one I had didn't have that in there. But they still good. I just don't recommend the what you call in it, the olive. Because it has a pit in there. But my camera's about to die out.